Hello and welcome to City Edition, the City of Bend's video news magazine. I'm Justin Feinstone. Where does Bend's water come from? Well, one source is high up in the Cascades. Take a look. When the City of Bend was founded in 1905, the city didn't own the water system. It was owned by Bend Water, Light and Power. They were a private company that stood up the dam at Mirror Pond and provided drinking water to the various development schemes occurring around Bend and in Bend. That utility uh, provided water to the citizens on a reliable basis until the Deschutes River was declared unfit for human consumption. We drank out of the Deschutes River until the early 20s when the Deschutes River was condemned because of water quality problems from the flooding of upstream reservoirs for irrigation. Those upstream reservoirs had flooded thousands of acres of what was formerly uh, sage and other vegetative material and that vegetative material broke down, got into the water stream and added nutrient contaminants to the water supply system. When the water quality problems got worse, the city fathers needed to come up with a different source of supply. Our forefathers hiked the mountains near to Bend, finding water sources for grazing cattle and for city consumption. They sent engineers out uh, to four different locations, Spring River, Fall River. They looked at Benham Falls, where the largest reservoir in the state was slated to be built. They also went up into Tumalo and Bridge Creeks, as high up as Green Lakes to find new sources. Uh, upon all those locations that they looked at, Bridge Creek was determined to be the best, highest quality source of water that also offered the most protection to the watershed. Tumalo Creek and the sub-basin of Bridge Creek were chosen because it flowed by gravity and it was some of the most pristine water in the region. It was also protected because it was on Forest Service land. So in the early 20s in Bend, the largest sawmills in Bend were being built and they were fueling growth in the region. So we had two issues going on, water quality and water quantity. The city fathers worked with Bend Water, Light and Power to try to acquire new water rights. In the early 20s, the city of Bend began to negotiate with Bend Water, Light and Power to actually acquire the entire water system so they could secure new water rights with Tumalo Irrigation District, even with the threat of condemnation. They eventually negotiated water rights with a trade for Deschutes and Bridge Creek water. The city then proceeded with the construction of a new pipeline that went from Bridge Creek all the way to town. Uh, that was approximately a 14 mile distance of pipe that they installed and that would happen in about 1924. In the 1950s, as Bend was growing, it needed more water. And as we know, water rights in such a dry climate are a very valuable commodity. So the city legally went through the process to obtain water rights to provide its citizens with clean drinking water. Bridge Creek was running out as far as what it naturally produced. So the engineering capacity at that time was bolstered by the addition of flows from the middle fork of Tumalo Creek tipped into the top of Bridge Creek. And then proceeded to invest in another pipeline to convey that additional water to town. That upper diversion right at the source springs at the middle fork of Tumalo Creek that tips water into Bridge Creek has been in operation since the 50s continuously. That isn't changed on a daily, seasonally or annual basis, it's left running continually and that water is shared and comes down both drainages. If the city were to stop diverting the approximately 10 to 15 cubic feet per second from that upper diversion, this water would flow back into the middle fork of Tumalo Creek and eventually make its way down to Tumalo Falls. This would result in less than just a few centimeters of difference in water elevation at Tumalo Falls, which would not be visible or uh, measurable by most people. The other advantage of the Bridge Creek supply was that it was supplied by gravity. There was no pumping required. And in the 20s and the 50s, the electricity and the pumping technology hadn't gotten there yet. There are many, many tributaries within the Tumalo Basin. The city engineers in the 20s picked probably the best location for a variety of reasons. Geologically, it was the most protected spot and tucked up against the waterfall, so there was no need to put fish passage in at the time because there's a 50-foot waterfall just above the city's intake. Bridge Creek joins Tumalo Creek at a point several hundred yards downstream of Tumalo Falls where it continues on down to Shovelin Park and eventually to the Deschutes River. As the city of Bend grew, 
In the 1970s, again, they needed additional supply to meet the summer peak demand. By the 70s, the city of Bend's demand exceeded its surface water source, and so the city went and got water rights for groundwater. The city of Bend purchased a well from one of the logging mills in order to try groundwater as a new source, and it worked. Today, the city owns and operates 23 individual wells at approximately seven different well site locations throughout the city. Today, the city of Bend's water system is the envy of many water districts in the West because we have a dual source. The Bend City Council unanimously supports having a dual source system utilizing both surface water and groundwater. In fact, many communities throughout the West are making massive investments just to acquire a second source both gravity-fed surface water and the additional wells to meet peak summer demands that we can shut off when they're not needed. This is an important asset to our community to keep providing clean drinking water for decades to come. However, owning and operating wells is an expensive endeavor and there is a great deal of expense in just the electrical costs in lifting that water approximately 800 feet from below ground up to the reservoirs and tanks throughout the community. One of the key advantages of the surface water project is the addition of filtration. The current Bridge Creek supply is exempt from filtration and needs to be shut off up to 90 days a year because it doesn't meet turbidity regulations. The surface water supply combined with the city's groundwater supply gives the community the most reliable and dependable source for the citizens. Ben's goal is to both preserve and conserve our natural resources while exercising our rights for both surface water and groundwater for our citizens.